I'm here with the Synch crew, Sean and Ethan, and we're going up Lemon twice today. So the first time we're going up, how, how what are we doing? 300 watts? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go up to the Palisades, then we're gonna flip around, come back, and then we're gonna go up again, and you said straight up to the observatory? Yeah, probably thinking of going all the way to Summer Haven, maybe observatory, see how we feel, and then uh, get some cookies at the cookie cabin. So once we get, it's gonna be about an hour 45 the first time to Palisades. Yep. And then how much longer is it right to the top? Uh, probably about two hours to Summer Haven. And then if you decide to do the observatory, which is like two miles at like, I think eight to 10%. Uh, so that'll be in the end, an additional 30, 40 minutes if you decide to do that. So we're probably gonna be out here for at least six Wait, hours today. But we've already been waiting around a bit, so let's go. All right, we're 30 minutes in. My average is 304. <laughs> What about you? Uh, uh, 3308. Nice. We got like an hour to go, but the best thing about this climb is the view. It never gets old, does it? No. Gets even better up ahead. How do you guys feel? Yeah, I'm feeling <laughs> all right. Last day of team camp, so. That's it. Know, fatigue is inevitable, unfortunately. So yeah, that's a big point I wanted to make is none of us are fresh, especially these guys, because I just joined the last couple days of the camp. But how long you guys been going? Uh, we've been going since, I believe last week, Monday. Gotcha, so. Week and a half ago. Yeah, almost two weeks, team camp. You guys have been doing what, like three, four hours a day kind of thing? Yeah, 20, 23 hour weeks. Yep. And this is the last day. All right, my arm's getting tired. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Just coming up to Windy Point, and I'm hurting. Hurting. Got about an hour and five on the clock. 30 minutes to go. We made it to the top. I think we averaged like 20 kilometers an hour. I had exactly 300 watts, but that was hard. Well, how hard did you guys find it? How hard? Pretty hard. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. The whole time I'm thinking, it's how are we gonna do another one? Another one. Another one. So now we're gonna go down and we're gonna do this again. And I'm gonna try and shut my brain off. On the way down? Uh, like and just, I can't even think. Let's hours. don't think about it. Let's do it again. All right, let's just send it guys. Let's just get this shit over with. Let's send it. just started a lap two and it sucks <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding I think boy how many miles we in we got on lap two here one yeah so a lot to go it wasn't the last like it was the last 5k of the first lap that really killed me so we'll see how this goes
Windy Point for the second time, and I'm rocked. Feeling it. 10K to go. All right, we're like one and a half kilometers from the top. We just stopped to get some water. This is definitely up there with one of the hardest rides I've done. And like, it's different because it's not like crazy intense, but just staying on the pedals, climbing for so long is just my legs are just absolutely fucked. We got Lauren here. Hey. <laughs> Unbound winner. Woo. <laughs> what, what else have you got to your name? Uh, SPT. Yeah. Uh, the Rad. Nice. Travel Worlds. Uh, Collegiate Nationals. <laughs> so we're looking at <laughs> USA's <laughs> best gravel cyclist. And that's, I agree, this is a really hard ride. Nice. Yeah. I don't feel as wimpy now. Oh good, yeah, you're not, you're good. <laughs> All right, we're- a hard ride, confirmed, hard <clears throat> ride. We should be at the cookie cabin in the next uh, 10, 20 minutes. Yeah. And we're gonna get a cookie the size of a dinner plate. It's a cookie cabin. This is the cookie. More climbing to get down. This was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. I knew it was gonna suck. <laughs> like I knew, like when I heard about it last week, I was like, fuck, this is gonna suck. I honestly think though, I either eat, didn't drink or eat enough. Yeah. Cause like, I feel way better now. <laughs> like 10 times better. Got replenished. Yeah. No, you were fucking strong today, man. Oh. You are on front for most of it. <laughs> Damn, it's a big little city. I fucking love the USA, baby. Look at this shit. day and I don't feel nearly as bad as I thought I would but I made a huge mistake yesterday I think what happens is you get into like routines of what you eat and like what you do and because it's been so long that I've done a ride like that that long that hard I didn't eat enough and I brought six Nutrigrain bars and those are only about 120 calories each and I was eating about one of those an hour so I got into the fifth hour and I had one bar left and really, in retrospect, I should have had like 12 of those bars, but that's too much to carry. What I should have done is went out and got some Cliff bars, and I should have been eating at least 45 grams of carbs per hour. And what happens is it starts catching up. It started catching up with me. When I started the second climb, I felt okay. But if I ate a whole bunch of food starting the second climb, I would have finished strong because I was just done at the top. And then when I sat down, I ate half of that big cookie and I felt great. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I made a mistake like that. But what? I, but I could see how it's easy to make because it was outside of my routine. And I grabbed those Nutrigrain bars thinking that one an hour was enough. But if I took time, I should have realized I should have been eating two of those an hour. And it's always this fear of eating too much, trying to lose weight. Um, but on a ride like that, I think you can't eat enough because I burned like 5,500 calories, which is like, which is crazy. And let's say my base, my basal metabolic rate is 1,500, which is probably a little on the low end. So you're talking 7,000 calories I need to eat just to break even, which is really hard to do, especially when you're on the bike for the entire day. So huge mistake. And I'm gonna try and not make that one again and remember that I need at least 250 calories an hour just from carbs. So I need about 50 grams of carbs per hour 
but you could, I should have been eating more. Uh, I should be going for 60 grams of carbs an hour on a ride that hard, and that's what screwed me at the end. But we live and learn. Something else I wanted to say that's really awesome about, and this is something I love about coaching, uh, getting hooked up with Cinch and Tom Danielson, is that I would never have hooked up with those guys if it wasn't for my coach. Hooking up with those guys for the last couple days of the, of the team camp, which is awesome. And I feel like that's such an opportunity and if I didn't have him as my coach, I wouldn't have been able to, to ride with those guys. Ethan and Sean are amazing cyclists and it's, such a, it's so awesome for me to get to go out and ride with these guys. And uh, I feel absolutely blessed. It's such an opportunity for me. That's one of the things I love the most about cycling is getting out with an awesome group of guys and just smashing a crazy ride. Yesterday was definitely one of the best days I've had all year on the bike. Uh, the ride will be, I'll link the ride in the description on Strava so you can go check it out. I absolutely love the USA. I love Tucson. It's amazing here. What's awesome is I got another uh, January, February, March, April. I got like four and a half more months here, which I'm so excited about. Please hit that subscribe button so you can follow along. Tons of stuff coming. Also, I got the biggest giveaway I've ever done. Link in the description. I'm giving away like six or seven different things. Durace Crank 9200, Weira Top of the Line Allen Keys, uh, Ticker Heart Rate Strap, Carbon Bond Tracker Saddle, a uh, bunch of stuff. Check out the description, easy to enter. Click the link and all you gotta do is enter your information and you can enter all of them or one of them, whatever you want. Uh, love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.